On 28th May 2024, the National Green Tribunal, NGT, pronounced a significant number of judgments. In one of the judgments, the NGT directs review of groundwater extraction regulations in Lodiana, Punjab. The NGT pronounced a significant judgment addressing the critical issue of groundwater depletion in the district of Ludhiana in Punjab. The judgment, which was resolved on 9th February 2024, was delivered by Justice Arun Kumar Tyagi, judicial member, in the matter of original application number 469 of 2023, Jagjit Singh versus State of Punjab and others. The NGT observed that, according to the notification dated 27th January 2023, issued by the Punjab Water Regulation and Development Authority, PWRDA, all assessment areas, blocks in the district of Ludhiana are classified as overexploited. Groundwater is vital for India's agriculture and drinking water security in both rural and urban areas. The tribunal emphasized that promoting the judicious use of groundwater is essential to address the alarming depletion levels. The tribunal noted that unregulated extraction of groundwater by industrial units poses a significant threat to the regulation and management of this critical resource. To ensure proper regulation and management, the NGST suggested that users of groundwater should be required to recharge the resource through rainwater harvesting and pay appropriate charges. The charges should be utilized for the regulation, management and recharging of groundwater. Given the categorization of all blocks in District Ludhiana as overexploited, the NGT directed PWRDA to review the exemptions granted to industrial units under the 27th January 2023 notification. This includes exemptions from obtaining permission for groundwater extraction and from paying the relevant charges. The tribunal's directive aims to curb the overexploitation and promote sustainable groundwater management practices. The judgment highlights the urgent need for comprehensive groundwater management strategies to ensure the sustainability of this vital resource. The NGT's decision underscores the importance of regulatory oversight and implementation of effective measures to mitigate the adverse impacts of unregulated groundwater extractions. The tribunal's directives come in response to the case filed by Jagjit Singh against the state of Punjab and others, reflecting the growing concern over groundwater depletion in one of the India's key agricultural regions. The NGT's intervention is expected to pave the way for more stringent groundwater management policies crucial for safeguarding the region's water security. Have you heard about pesticide and fish curry masala? Well, in another matter, the National Green Tribunal took Shomoto cognizance of a news report concerning the presence of pesticides in Everest's fish curry masala registering the case as original application number 604-2024. 604 of 2024. The case was listed for hearing on 28th May 2024. The NGT's action was triggered by an article titled Singapore Orders Recall of Everest's Fish Curry Mashala Citing Presence of Pesticide published in the Indian Express on 19th April 2024. The article highlighted the Singapore Food Agency's directive to importer S.P. Mothea and Shams Private Limited to recall the product due to detection of ethylene oxide, a pesticide, in the fish curry masala. This detection rendered the masala unfit for human consumption. The bench presiding over the hearing comprised Justice Prakash Srivastava Chairperson, Justice Arun Tyagi, Judicial Member, and Dr. Afroz Ahmed, Expert Member. The bench noted the critical concerns raised in the news report regarding food safety and public health. The core issue addressed in the news item was detection of ethylene oxide, a pesticide known to be harmful and thereby making the masala unsuitable for consumption. The Singapore Food Agency's directive for recall of the product underscores the gravity of contamination 
and its potential health risk. The presence of such hazardous substance in a widely used spice mix points to serious lapses in quality control and regulatory oversight within the food manufacturing and export sectors. During the hearing, the NGT bench observed that while the issue of pesticide contamination in food is significant, it primarily pertains to food safety and public health rather than environmental compliance. Given this delineation, the bench concluded that the matter did not involve any substantial issue relating to the compliance of environmental norms. Consequently, the tribunal decided to dispose the case.